What is going on guys? Ziga Blaze here with episode 7 of Road to Black Ops 3 and today is a actually a big day for me. Oh, we're 3 byron it now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, this connection's rough. Are we gonna have a game here? Okay, we're good. I think it just had a, a rough start there. So, today was actually a big day because I, I got my first fan today. And basically what that means is I already have I already have an okay amount of subscribers just from family and friends that have subscribed to me to try and help me out on this channel but if, if you guys as you guys can see there's a uh, blue triangle in the lobby with us today and that is someone who just randomly while I was sitting in the lobby I hadn't started searching for a game yet I was just I think I was doing something on my phone or texting someone and I just Oh, wow, this connection's choppy right now. Uh, I just heard someone talking, and I was like, what is that? And someone had joined my game and was trying to get my attention. So I put in my mic to talk to them, and lo and behold, it's someone that found my YouTube channel and had watched my first video. And he was telling me that, basically he said to me, he was, he was very surprised that I didn't have that many subscribers at all. And he told me that my commentary was very good and he really liked my channel. And honestly, it was just, that was just the biggest compliment. And he, he subscribed to me. And he told me that he was going to try and get the word out about my channel and help me. And I, I know it's not really a huge deal to a lot of you guys. And I don't think a lot of people understand it unless they really have their own YouTube channel that they've either been going with for a while or even if they have just started it. But. It was just a huge smile just went across my face as soon as I started talking to this kid just because it's someone I don't know and it's someone that's genuinely interested in what I have to say and all different parts of my channel and I don't know it it really made me happy and I wanted to share it with you guys just just to show you how I really feel about all of this and how how passionate I really am about this whole YouTube thing and how I just, I really want to be able to share that experience with so many more subscribers and just, I want to make some real connections off of this YouTube thing and if there's any time that I can help people through this then it's just such a great feeling. Yeah. And I wanted to let you guys know about that. You guys can probably hear him in the background, I'm actually in a party with him right now. He's kind of young but you know what, that, that really doesn't matter to me, I was just, I'm super happy about it. and. I really, I really just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know about that today. So we're on Nuketown right now and we have this enemy team in a pretty solid spawn trap. I'm running some uh, some douche streaks today. I'm running UAV, Hellstorm, and Lightning Strike and when you can get them rolling on this map, you can get those streaks just going off of each other. Your streaks can just pile up when you run these three because the UAV is getting you assists the whole time and then the hellstorm keeps them trapped in the back of the spawn and well first actually let me explain how I use it so I call on my UAV right, like this and I'm getting my assist points towards my other two streaks and then once I get the hellstorm I usually save it a bit oh these people are just sitting in the back over here oh they destroyed the UAV well alright so I'll save I'll save the Hellstorm until I get my Lightning Strike, securing alpha. and then once I have that Lightning Strike, securing alpha. I use that to clear the enemies out and push them back into their spawn, and then once they're back into the spawn, I use that Hellstorm and I get a, they're all clustered together because they had just spawned into the map, and then we take the Hellstorm and we get a huge multi-kill, and that can just help chain your streaks together really well. I don't really... Oh, there we go. I hadn't seen anyone in a while. Alright, so let's see if we can put this into work for you guys and show you what I mean. Alright, so we use the Hellstorm and we have everyone scattered around a bit, so we'll see if we can clear everyone out. Get them back in their spawn. And we got one, so I mean... Alright, we'll just try it out anyway. So... Oh, man. So much for me trying to explain something to you guys. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, well. Let's just see how well we can do in this game. Time's almost up. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Oh. I've got you. Something feels off about the connection in this match. I'm not really sure what it is. Let's go, let's go. 
Oh man, these C4s are coming in hot. That's why I always run Flak Jacket. I run it religiously in pretty much any Call of Duty now. So yeah, shout out to, uh, <laughs> oh man, I don't really know how to say your name. I'm gonna stick with Retrack. Shout out to Retrack for being one of my first real fans. And that's something that's gonna stick with me forever. And I'm just, I'm really happy that someone went out of their way to tell me they enjoyed my content and subscribed to my channel. And it just, it, oh, it leaves such a warm feeling inside and makes me so happy. Oh no! <laughs> Man, that kid stuck me. Oh no. There we go. Our boy went down there. One. Let's move in this way. Whoop. Oh, take the assist. Let's pop in this UAV and see where they're at. I don't think they're moving too far out of the spawn right now. That kid was trying to shoot my UAV down. Sorry about that, bud. Nope, you need to go back into your spawn. Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay. Let's pick something up. Oh! Oh, God! Oh man, oh man. Apparently he gave up on us. Oh, let's kill that guy. Grab an MSMC. Ooh, this dragon camo looks nice. Let's call this lightning strike. Let's see if I can show you guys what I was talking about before. Boom, there's a few. And then you burst it in right away because they're all gonna spawn in and... Ah, oh, we got two. They got inside fast enough. All right, see? By. See how these streaks just stack on top of each other, guys? Okay, we got a couple angry people inside that are probably gonna come after us. Ow. Oh boy, it's Turtle Man. Oh no, we're gonna sit here. Hold down this fort, oh man. You know what, he wanted top bunk, he can have it. Oh, Hellstorms just do work on this map, multi-kill. The Hellstorms and Black Ops 3 guys are absolutely insane. They, uh, I don't, I think Treyarch switched them up a bit because they seem to have, like, um, oh, oh, almost like a homing missile style now. So each individual missile, once you break the Hellstorm apart, has, like, a homing effect. And it can just, you can get six mans with it with ease. I think the Hellstorm in Black Ops 3 is going to be just miles better than the Lightning Strike once the actual game launches. Because the lightning strike is good and all, but it's just, it's not what it used to be in this game because it has a slower call-in time. It takes longer for the lightning strike to get actually get into the map and strike down on the enemy team than it does in this game, so. Ooh, look at my subscriber doing work right there. He's going in for me. Oh, sniper. There's one. Oh, poke your head back. <laughs> oh man, he was three off his streak. I'm not sure what it was. I couldn't really understand him, but all right, there we go. Get two more. Oh, this guy up the top. Oh, it's the turtle man. I think he's using noob tubes. It doesn't really surprise me because he had double C4 going on his class. But oh, there's another two. Let's, see, let's get this hellstorm in. Oh, nice and quick. Let's see if we can pick off a few. Boom. We got one. Let's call in this lightning strike. <laughs> I got one on top of the building, but you know what? It'll probably still do a little bit of work. Nope. Uh, that's the end of the game. All right, guys. We went 51-7 and seven today. We gained our first real fan who's not family or friends, which is a huge accomplishment for me. And oh, I, I'm just so happy with that, guys. All right, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments on anything you want me to want to see me play in the future, any games, anything like that, guys. Just let me know, and I will give you what you ask for. All right, guys, until next time, peace.